Howdy folks, Brother Jim reporting here. Liberal heads explode. Trump reportedly says he will replace Ruth Bader Ginsburg with Catholic Judge Amy Barrett. Does Donald Trump know something? Why would he say that he's going to replace RBG when she's not dead yet? Hmm. Does he know something that we don't know? Liberals are praying this is an April Fool's joke. According to Axios, President Trump reportedly is saving conservative Catholic Judge Amy Barrett to replace fragile Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg when she leaves the court. Ruth Bader Ginsburg is 86 years old and in questionable health. To say the least, President Trump has reportedly said he is saving Judge Amy Barrett of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit to replace Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg on the Supreme Court. Pardon me. According to Axios, Barrett was a popular choice among conservative activists as a candidate to replace Justice Anthony Kennedy before Trump eventually nominated Justice Brett Kavanaugh. Axios reported that Trump has made clear his desire to replace Ginsburg with Barrett since Kennedy's decision to retire, telling people on separate occasions, I'm saving her for Ginsburg. The American left is very threatened by devout Catholics like Amy Barrett. According to far left Yahoo, stringent Catholics like Judge Amy Barrett are cultists. See? This is the type of anti-Christian filth that is promoted by the liberal media and the Democrats today. Skeptics of Judge Amy Barrett's involvement with a group called People of Praise have questioned whether the group has demonstrated cult-like elements from Yahoo News. From the Yahoos. Who are the people of praise that Supreme Court contender Amy Coney Barrett belongs to? Many Christians view this time as a bona fide revival, a unique manifestation of God's power. Similar to the Great Awakenings of the 18th and 19th centuries, this context, the intensity and earnestness of that time helps explain some of the more esoteric and sometimes concerning elements of religious practice that have been attributed to the people of praise. The group's public reticence has contributed to accusations by former members that it attempts to influence the lives of its members in ways that in the past have crossed over into control and manipulation. Even in one of the most rigorous critiques of Barrett's groups, a 152-page booklet written in 1997 by a a former member named Adrian Reimers, there are numerous references to the powerful experience that swept up so many young people of faith during that time. Reimers notes, quote, the strong sense of euphoria that permeated the movement, not only in South Bend, Indiana, but also across the country. Quote, it seemed that the Holy Spirit was carrying us along, that all we had to do was to respond to his manifest leadings, Reimers wrote of that time. And Reimers describes charismatic masses, prayer meetings, and large rallies in which participants felt an almost tangible sense of communion. Because, according to Yahoo, having an almost tangible sense of communion with God is a cultish experience, via Jack Posobiec, now, what does this have to do? Well, guess what happened? Ruth Bader Ginsburg has been seen at the Temple Sinai at the same time, March 31st, yesterday. Ruth Bader Ginsburg was caught on video walking through Reagan International Airport on Monday. Uh, that was not Monday, that was about three weeks ago. The frail justice was helped through the airport by a female assistant. This is going back in time about three weeks ago, I'm guessing. And the videos by TMZ, I can't show that because I get a copyright instantly from them. This week in RBG was seen at Temple Sinai though, in Washington DC. It appears she has some ex assistance, just a picture. And Temple Sinai is a progressive Jewish synagogue, if you don't know that, in Washington, D.C. Very progressive. And if you know anything about Ruth Bader Ginsburg, she has progressed America into every sodomite, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender rights in the last 40 years in the Supreme Court for ages. 
She is extremely corrupt working with the devil. Okay? Now, very interesting that Donald Trump... Now, a lot of you people who are... And I, I know that the Roman Catholic whore uh, of Revelation chapter 17 is definitely that city... The, is, a, is called a whore is a city as it described in the text of the KJV is a city and it definitely is Rome okay but it also is has ties with the Jezebel spirit and is the church of Thyatira of Revelation chapter 2 that many saints go up into heaven there are many devout, good Catholic Christians who do not know the doctrines of Satan as Revelation chapter 2 says. And could it be that this Amy Judge Amy Barrett is one of them? Very could be. Very much could be. Okay? So there are many great Catholics who do not know the doctrines of Satan as Revelation chapter 2 says. And these revel this Revelation chapter 2, the Church of Thyatira, is definitely the Roman Catholic Church. And many people, many theologians have already taught this. As it says right here, he says, uh, But unto you I say, and unto the rest in Thyatira, as many as have not this doctrine, which have not known the depths of Satan as they speak, I will put on you none other burden. But what happens to those who are practicing the ninth circle satanic child sacrifice ritual? Um, I will, he says, I will kill her children with death and all the children churches shall know that I am he which searches the reins and hearts and I will give unto every one of you according to your works. You see, everyone is, receives a reward for their works, whether they be good or bad. You see? Because he's going to cast her into the bed and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. Who is her? Her is the Revelation 17. Her is the whore who is described in at the end as the city. Rome. The Vatican. You see? That has the Jezebel spirit, which is pushing feminism across the world. You know, it's funny. I, I just finished watching Joyce Myers for a little bit yesterday. Sickening on TBN. TBN is bad. Okay. Not everything is bad on there, but, you know, Trinity Broadcasting Network. And I saw Joyce Myers with her messed up plastic surgery of her mouth looking like the Joker. Okay. Then I saw her in total black with a pants suit, half man. Her hair is shorter than most men. She's now a transgender she it. And in the stadium, it's like a base baseball stadium holding maybe 40,000 people. It's packed. But if you look in the stadium, it's over 95% women. They're just swallowing up these lies from Joyce Meyer. The joy I call her Joyce Liar. And what she's teaching is empowering the women. That's feminism right there. Don't listen to anyone who tells you you're not good. You are good. But it, the Bible tells the complete opposite. She's not teaching the, 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 the salvation of Jesus Christ. She's not teaching that anymore. She's teaching women empowerment. That's what she's doing. Empowering the women. You don't need Jesus Christ. You are doing good the way you are. She makes up all kinds of... Anyway... I don't want to go on too much with Joyce Meyer, but oh my God, here she is dressed in black and, 
And not only that, but now she's wearing lipstick, dark red lipstick like a whore. And the women just swallow it up. Just like the whore of Babylon. It's just amazing how Joyce Myers has turned from a... And not only that, but if you listen to her voice, she sounds like a man. Oh my God. She doesn't even sound like a woman anymore. I believe she's taking... I, I, to be honest with you, I believe she is a she it. It's not a she, she her marriage is a fraud. Just like Obama is a fraud marriage marrying Michelle Obama who is actually Michael. I'm telling you. Joyce Meyer is leading the Jezebel church. Now, uh let's continue in uh, so anyway, isn't this amazing? Oh, I'm sorry, I got the wrong story here. Isn't this amazing that that Ruth Bader Ginsburg is being seen, but at the same time, Donald Trump has already got someone to back her up. Now, this coincides with Mark Taylor's prophecy that Ruth Bader Ginsburg, there'll be three that leave the Supreme Court justice. Only two have. And we still do not have a for sure report conservative Supreme Court this is going to slam dunk it uh, Donald Trump has been vindicated of the Mueller Russian hoax investigation the investigators are going to be investigated now they are already singing as Clapper just did I'm telling you America is in for the real news all of america the fake news bought off mainstream media is coming to a close they will have to change or they will be deposed and i was wrong about saying that there will be no justice in america for the swamp the swamp was post the swamp draining was postponed because of the obstruction of justice of Rod Rosenstein appointing Mueller as uh, um, with this fake Russian dossier to create this special investigation and all these invest all these investigations and all these fights uh, breaking of the fourth amendment of of spying on the Trump administration and millions of Americans. It that was all done as an insurance plan to stop Trump. That was their insurance plan. They failed. Now Trump's been vindicated. It's over. Now's the time for the real hammer of justice to come down. The obstruction of justice by Mueller is over. It's done. The fake news will still try to sing it. Adam Schiffhead will try to, and, and John Brennan will still try to make something out of it and a couple other Democrats, but it's over. It's over. And it's, it's coming to a close and now it's time for justice in America. Definitely. Thank you for listening. May the Lord bless. Let me be serious with you. I would rather that you donate to my ministry directly. I cannot survive financially to keep this ministry and new service going without your help. And we all know their plans to shut me down again. But many of you would like to receive a gift or product as a token of my appreciation. And I don't blame you. Isn't it about time Uncle Sam started paying you instead of you paying him? It is about time. The federal government pays you your rent check. The government rents out thousands of buildings instead of buying them every year. This is all funded by the current $11.1 billion building fund in our budget. Get your free federal rent check today sign up with the federal millionaire information here down below become a shareholder to receive federal rent checks for life by making a one-time investment as a shareholder an IRS ruling declares this to be totally legal this is no joke no scam and been for many years 
The longer your name is on the distribution list, the larger your federal rent check grows. As inflation rises along with real estate, the government pays you more every year. Starting out as little as $1,800 a month would be your rent check. Wouldn't that be nice to receive every month a rent check like that? The federal government continues to raise your income as inflation rises. This puts an end to retiring with a fixed income that leaves you going broke as you get older. This will put a major dent in those people who hate their home tax is going up every year, wouldn't it? And folks, the price for this valuable information will cost you only $39 a year or $79 for a two-year membership. Sign up today.